Greetings, Bat Prince here. Yeah, I'm not feeling that great today, so, uh, how about we do something silly? So silly! I haven't actually started up the game yet because there's a achievement for opening the game. But, I'm gonna do a 100% achievement on this. Whatever you call this. Yeah. Um,. How about I just get started then? Do 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 do. Get ready to press that screen button. You know, three, two. Yeah, I gotta wait for it to load a little bit first. All right. Clicking play. There we go. The following presentation might include information that is highly contested by the established consensus. The information will be presented as it is in the theory of something. I've been warned, apparently. Since the Victorian age, humanity has given in to the illusion that there is a natural world which can be measured and understood. And through close observation, the resemblance of natural truth can be gained. Every corner of the world needed to be measured and catalogued. Through the times of further industrialization and the development of our modern society, many deemed truths of bygone eras irrelevant and dangerous. Is that loud enough? Discarded them without we'll asking. So. On the other hand, they accepted truths from periods more aligned with the political landscape of modernity without question. One question nobody seemed to pose and no one ever again seemed to doubt was the shape of our world. Although our daily experiences do not suggest that the Earth is a globe, everyone seemed to just believe it as a fact. Until one brave American decided to research matters more thoroughly. Samuel Robotham, also known as Parallax. Why has modern science failed to recognize the true shape of the Earth? Don't astronomy and the space programs clearly disprove what humanity believed in for centuries? No. The flat Earth theory states that modern science is ill-equipped to answer the question because of Zeteticism. A Zetetic forms the question, then immediately sets to work making observations and performing experiments to answer this question. What is he on about? We have been asking the wrong questions all along. Okay. Uh. So I just got an achievement for watching the intro without skipping. <laughs> now to listen to the story. Oh boy. Start. First step. Hold the mat right mouse button to rotate. Use the scroll wheel to zoom. Yep. Is that enough zoom in? Is it? That looks like enough zoom in. So... How do I listen to stories? Is this what this is? Let's listen to the story about the moon. The moon. The moon is a revolving sphere. It has a diameter of 32 miles and is located approximately 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. The moon is thought to be spherical due to a slight rocking back and forth over its monthly cycle. The moon. Your monthly cycle. It is lit by the sun. It moves from 3,000 miles to 2,000 miles over the duration of a month, thus causing the lunar cycle we observe as new moon, half moon, and full moon. It is still debated by many of the planar astronomers if the moon is a surface sufficient for anyone to stand upon it. Parallax theorized that the moon might not be as real as it seems. For example, 
A strong, unnatural glow around its edge can be observed by anyone with a telescope or camera with sufficient zoom capabilities. Some citizen scholars investigating this interesting natural phenomena also agree that the moon is either a projection or an atmospheric reflection of a body closely orbiting the rim of the Terran plain. But for the model of the monopole flat Earth, the question of the moon's solidity is not relevant. In 1969, the moon was the setting of a fictional worldwide television broadcast in which the United States of America, more specifically NASA, claimed to have landed on the moon. The hoax was discovered by independent researchers, but many of them have since been silenced by NASA agents or pressured into publicly stating that they were wrong. That's no moon achievement unlocked. Aw, you can't see my achievements because there's some, like, smoke and stuff around the edges. Maybe I should make that a little more clear in the future. What else? See how far... Okay. Aw. Alright. Close. The sun. The sun. The sun is a revolving sphere. It has a diameter of 32 miles and is located approximately 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. The sun's area of light is similar to the spotlight of a searchlight. Can you be imagine being the narrator who got hired for this? Illuminated at a time. It also describes how night and day arise on a flat Earth. The apparent view of rising and setting are caused by perspective. Just as a flock of birds overhead will descend into the horizon as they fly into the distance. Together with the moon, the sun rotates around a mysterious central point of rotation. Let there be light. Chloe's. Uh... So now we've got one, two, three, four, five more bits. So let's have a look at the summer gate, whatever that summer is. Gate. In this model, the Terran plane is represented as a solid disc with an end and a start. You late, Kenzie? I only just started. Out of a sense of fairness, we should... Nine minutes ago? Maybe ten? It states that the Terran plane is I'm not doing another one of those hundred percent things. The ice wall, other lands exist. The most popular of these theories is. Oh no! Does that mean you're going to stay inside sick? I hope you uh you pull up from it, okay. But still, that means you have to isolate and stuff. I mean, you're lucky it's only you in chat right now, because if anyone is actually here to watch anything about the flat Earth. Crap that I'm playing. They uh they probably tell you that it's not real. I don't have the corona, but I um I do have one of the the more common boogery noses at the moment. I was supposed to be doing other work, and I just I just wanted to sit down and have my brain just bombarded with numbness from some. Stuff. Stupid thing, and then get a hundred percent at the end of it, because that'll make me feel good, right? <laughs> that and some chicken soup. What might lie beyond its path? Some theorize that the mythical places of Atlantis and Hyperborea, or many of the other lost continents of history, are just behind the Arctic ice wall. Vitamin D water. My water is usually vitamin B. But today, I mean, why aren't I? I finished my first vitamin B water. I really should go back for a second one. And instead, I'm drinking um, naturally sugar-free Nexpa. It's kind of like, uh, what's that water where it kind of tastes like if somebody in the room 10 feet away from you mentions a fruit? <laughs> yeah. One of those things. Uh, let's have a look at the rim, huh? The Antarctic ice wall. I mean, I don't feel bad, which is nice, but at the outer edge of the world, we Antarctic ice wall. A little unmotivated. 
discovered and otherwise I'm feeling good. ...by the British explorer James Clark Ross, and he circumnavigated the edge of the known Earth. Though he thought himself to be at the Southern Pole, because he simply followed the magnetic field which develops outwards from the center. The ice wall is, along most of its length, 150 meters high, and by the description of Ross, an impenetrable shield of ice, snow, and rock. Several expeditions tried to reach the presumed South Pole until the Norway... I mean, the biggest and most stupid thing about this theory to me is I don't understand why anyone would want to hide the mountain range up to 2,000 meters high any of this that, if it was true some predict that there is what's the point others theorize that the world stretches indefinitely today a select few ships can visit the outer border of the planar rim it gets sold as the southern tip of the earth but evidence suggests it is Ugh. only the furthest from the center if the Arctic ice wall is the outer point of the world, it cannot be clearly determined due to the fact that no one has ever crossed the mountain range to our knowledge. I don't know, just so that they can believe in something other than what we're told, you know, so they can feel special that they know the truth or something. I don't, I don't understand any of it. I like it as a, um, a point of, uh, scientific theory and, uh, like mathematics that, that we could try and work out and how it would work which um is meant to be sitting on the back of four elephants and a turtle and there used to be a fifth ele uh, elephant on the back of the turtle but it slipped off and got caught in the gravitational p field came around and smashed into the disc almost knocking it off right <laughs> yeah exactly they, they just spent it on a house um but before there was all this actual conspiracy theory, it was a fantasy novel by, like, Terry Pratchett. Of a, a world covered in orange, purpley, crackly magic. Let's go have a look at the space programs. Space programs. In the 1950s, during the Cold War, the two opposing blocs of the totalitarian USSR and the free world under the leadership of the United States started the competition of the supposed space race. Why space and its supposed conquest was so important was explained by Senate Majority Leader and later President Lyndon B. Johnson. Quote, Control of space means control of the world. The position of total control over the Earth that lies somewhere in outer space. This statement proves space was seen as an ultimate achievement primarily on the grounds of propaganda and the invoking of fear of war capabilities. A few months later, NASA was established. Now you see that, I understand. ...responded to their first hoaxes with a supposed Sputnik satellite. This was in reality just a... But that's more of an English problem rather than a science problem. It's just the way we talk. ...documents at the end of the USSR in 1990 show. However, Fire burns, but it, it is in itself not burnt. Most of Water wets, although it is in, in itself not wet. Some see in it's just English. It's just the way that we've created language. Miles into the this, out of sight for most this is nuts. Deploys its parachutes and drops into the sea or is Too many people have thought about this too hard. Game of intimidation now that's something that's about biology. I wouldn't know if a coconut is a nut or not. Financial scam during the 80s and Probably not. Probably some sort of other kind of fruit or seed. Isn't it a seed? And because like most nuts aren't seeds? I don't know. NASA profit from the fraud, but also other new players. Developing countries such no. as India also participate in the scam in the hope that the huge sums involved... The scam, indeed. A large community of citizen scientists do an excellent job in debunking many of the new fantasy space travel images from NASA and other agencies that are simply produced in their movie studios while the transmission of satellites are just relayed through a global network of radio towers. There is no flat-earth conspiracy 
but a fake space flight cabal that uses the illusion of space travel to make trillions worldwide. If you say so, buddy. Next, the cover up. The fake space programs of NASA and the Russians are the reason why the weak sphere model has been propagated during the 20th century. NASA doesn't hide the true shape of the Earth. During their early fakes, they showed pictures of the spheroid Earth and are now stuck with it. Organizations like the United Nations even show the true shape of the Earth on their flag. Because the UN was founded before NASA, the designer of the flag took the model of the monopole flat Earth as a representation. Although by the mid-60s, most of those institutions had recognized the hoaxes of the space programs, they continued to support it. The immense sums of money that are invested by governments and corporations in supposed space programs are used, to a large extent, to pay off the officials and many people who know about the true shape of the Earth, as well as so-called educators on TV. In truth, an intricate web of lies has been spun to obstruct the public's clear view on reality. So say you, buddy. Right. Is this the last one I have to listen to? Before I can start playing the game? The Atma Plane, or Atma Layer, is a series of gas layers above the inhabited part of the Earth. If the Earth is finite, as shown in this model, the Atma Plane gets thinner and less dense towards the edges, where the Arctic ice wall stops the Atma Plane from flowing off the edge. If the infinite Earth hypothesis is true, the Atma Plane would possibly extend as infinitely as the Earth does. The Atma Plane is... Well, I don't know whether my nose is running because I've got a bit of a coldy thing, or whether my brains have turned to mush and are running out my nose. The highest ever reached layer by humans that can be... Maybe a little bit of both, huh? Up to 30 miles. The extent of the meso layer and Iono layer are still... It's all getting in my coily mustache. I use it to, to make the curls, right? Not a spear, they say. Alright, we'll close that off. Okay, so for these points, I did the the summer gate. I did the Antarctic, the sun and the moon, uh, space programs, cover-ups, and I just did the air to most plane. Is there another point of interest that I'm missing, like underneath or something? Like, what's it all dripping into? Where's Atuin, the world turtle? And if, uh, if the world turtle holds up the world, what holds up the world turtle? Hmm? Did anybody ask that? What does this do? Got waypoints. Sun size, sun distance, bloom effect. Photo mode, air traffic. All right. So if I... Okay. So I do have a thing here that tells me what I should. Once I listen to all of the things, the entire story, I should have got the achievement. So that's what I'm reading on my phone right now. Aside from... Where's the moon at? Oh, that's it here. Hold on. Sorry. Here. Uh... We'll get rid of the menu. You can listen to that while I have a look at the achievements. The I already did this one. It has a diameter of 32 miles and is located approximately 3,000 miles above the surface of the Earth. The moon is so that's no moon. Let there be light. Houston, we have a fake. It is lit by the, the outer sun. rim. It moves from 3, it's in the flag. Miles over Not a sphere. Infinite Earth, the lunar cycle we observe as new moon, half and it can never be unseen. Cool. So I did listen to all the things. It's all good. Many of the astronomers that the moon all right. Surface so if I hit the menu button, parallax theorized that the moon might not go to screenshot mode. For example, a strong unnatural glow around its edge can be. All right, I'm not interested. It's all a bunch of crap anyway. Go to. Screenshot mode. You mean 
photo mode. And then hit F12. Is that going to break my recording? Yeah, I, I listened to eight minutes of nonsense. Uh, yeah, there we go. I just took a photo. That's nice. Achievement got. Should I squish up my screen a little bit so you can see my achievements pop? Uh, or maybe just in the border. Unlock the border. Make it a little bit more squishy. There we go, just above the hat of my little slayer dude. Now you should be able to see my achievements pop better. Lock that. Close up the folder of my border. It's all good. Now, next thing. How do we get out of this? Just escape? There we go. Change your camera angle to under the planet. Oh! Camera angle. How do I change my camera angle? Whoop! Down the rabbit hole. So there's also an idle for an hour achievement. So that's probably what's happening here. Stories are powerful. Some stories change the world. Thank you, bye! Camera angle. Camera angle. Hmm. Resume. I probably already got camera angle of is it flat. I should check it because I don't know how to change the angle except for moving. Is it... Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's flat. I already got is it's flat. That's just doing this. Okay. Uh, moon man. Change the size of the moon. All right. Moon. Come here. There's the moon. I can zoom in on the moon. Do the moon zoom. And then we will grab the moon slider and make it bigger. Oh, now it's bigger. I made it bigger. All right, dawn of the third day. Make the moon as big as possible. Oh, that's that's easy. Duh. Now we got to zoom out before we make it any bigger. That's scary. Ooh, oh, it's it's crashing on the, the on the flat Earth. It's making a right mess. Now let's just leave it that way, shall we? Change the moon's orbit. There we go. It's a little further out now. That's nice. Uh, move the moon's orbit off the planet. Oop. Bye. Moon's orbit is now off the planet. Oh, that one didn't pop. Did it? I don't remember seeing it. Uh, moon off the edge. Oops. Did I get moon off the edge? I'm trying to get all the things. <laughs> oh no, we've got somebody in the chat who's trying to find out whether I actually believe that the Earth the, is flat or a sphere i tell you what if you're one of these flat earthers and you want to yell at me about it you go ahead it's not a cube it's a sphere we got photos i believe the photos and i'm sorry if you don't yourself i've seen the curvature of light in videos and stuff you can't you can't tell me that every single tv program is part of some sort of stupid conspiracy okay Maybe if I move the moon's distance, that's high moon, right out. Maybe if I move the orbit right in, and then right out, or turn the moon size back down, moon distance back down. Okay. Just asking, though? 
Why do you do you believe in the the stupid conspiracy of this monstrosity? I just don't understand why it's so many people think that so many other people would be trying to fool them. Um, yeah. I'm just doing the uh the pop and the achievements thing. So I'm trying to get. Off the moon's edge. Did I get it already? I might have to come back. Oh, no, there's off the moon's edge. I got it. I got it. And then move the sun's orbit off the planet. Sun off the edge. There it goes. Now everything's cold. Change the sun size. Yeah, big sun. Make the sun as big as possible. And boom. Highlight. What was that one called? Uh, end times. Did we get end times, or did I, did I ruin that one? End times. Oop, I did not get end times. Sun size reset. Make it big. Reset. Carefully, slowly, make it big. No, it's not popping. Change all of the sun stuff. Make it big in its own orbit. There we go. The sun is actually touching the disc it wasn't just about making it as big as possible it had to touch the disc got it right next uh go into photo mode and then look at the stars mm. how much how much star looking can i do What stars in, in oh there we go. Up here. Go into photo mode and get under the planet. Oh no. Oh Nelly. Down we go how do we we go wasties, yeah? Wasties, we go under the planet. How do we get under the planet? We have to go around. Here we go. I am under the planet. There we go. Up is down. What is what a troll face? What? Me? On 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 that thing up there? What did you see? Did I did I do something wrong? <laughs> I, I kinda do that when I'm like, oh no, what's going on? It's not so much a troll like but more like a am I gonna break something? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All that stuff. I know what troll face is, but did I make it or did you see it on that thing or is it was it in the game or what what's going on? Where did you see it? Uh Change the sun's distance. We did that. Weather forecast. In the menu, turn off the clouds. All right, so I need to get back, snap back to reality. Stop messing up gravity. Uh, go into the menu. Let's uh, reset a lot of, ooh, cool. A lot of the things so that we're back to kind of normal flat earth. 
right? Now I need to turn off the clouds. Bye clouds. No clouds. Uh, pictures without ugly dots. Turn off the waypoints. Bye waypoints. Oh, much nicer. We can see all the things now. There's a satellite there. We should go find that satellite soon. Uh, it's time to, in the menu, turn on the time zone option. Time zone? Oh, there it is. Oh, we can see all the different time zones. It's like a, a dartboard. Airlines never fly over Antarctica in the menu. Turn off the turn on the air traffic. Okay. That's interesting. I don't like that on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, we can see all the airlines. It's interesting. I I think. Oh no. I don't think it is interesting. One more time, watch the intro again. Oh, really? All right, guys, you didn't see the intro, so uh, here we go. Resume. Uh oh. Where's the uh? Back to menu. Replay intro. All right. Well, I've seen this, so uh, enjoy. What's happening? Since the Victorian age, humanity has given in to the illusion that there is a natural world which can be measured and understood. And through close observation, a resemblance of natural truth can be gained. Every corner of the world needed to be measured and catalogued. Through the times of further industrialization and the development of our modern society, Many deemed truths of bygone eras irrelevant and dangerous, so they discarded them without asking. On the other hand, they accepted truths from periods more aligned with the political landscape of modernity without question. One question nobody seemed to pose and no one ever again seemed to doubt was the shape of our world. Although our daily experiences do not suggest that the Earth is a globe, Everyone seemed to just believe it as a fact. Until one brave American decided to research matters more thoroughly. Samuel Robotham, also known as Parallax. Why has modern science failed to recognize the true shape of the Earth? Don't astronomy and the space programs clearly disprove what humanity believed in for centuries? The flat earth theory states that modern science is ill-equipped to answer the question because of zeteticism. A zetetic forms the question, then immediately sets to work making observations and performing experiments to answer this question. It turns out, we have been asking the wrong questions all along. Oh, yeah. Grab a popcorn. I don't got the popcorn. I just had to go, uh, that sound. Oh, dear. Nope. None of that. I don't want to replay the intro. Turn off those waypoints, they're annoying. Turn off the air traffic, that's annoying. All right. What's next? Change the rotation speed. Oh, here. What? I mean, if you're trolling, fine. Otherwise, 
I'm just playing a stupid game with a stupid simulation with a stupid theory. It's actually a pretty cool game. I don't mind it. <laughs> gods. There is no gods. I mean, I don't know that for sure, so I'm not actually going to be able to say that. I don't... I don't like... That kind of ignorance and stuff. But as far as evidence can tell, there is either no gods or at least no gods that care. We don't come from monkey. We do, and he like to call upon his magical cloud like this. What about Hanuman, the monkey god? How about you take a few hours to rethink your life instead of coming in to silly video game streams and trying to preach? Not interested. You're not going to get anywhere with me, buddy. All right, next achievement. Get your first hidden clue. There is a timer at the bottom of the screen. No, we already got... See, that's, that's our clues right there. So there's a hidden clue. Stories give meaning in a chaotic world full of noise, confusion, and uncertainty. Legalize? Man, I went on a ha attack helicopter date once. Uh, we ended up just getting high, right? So high we could see the curvature of the earth, am I right, Jamie? <laughs> what are birds? We just don't know. See, you say things in the right, like, voice, you can sound like you know what you're talking about. Um, second clue, I just got that one. There's a timer on the bottom thing. Third clue. You know, it's just going to count timers down. It's fine. Uh, where is the ice? Go into photo mode and then go into the ice island in the middle. All right. Let's do that. Photo mode. I knew I was getting into a... A bit of a murky area where I could have get this kind of crap in my chat. But, um, yeah. I guess I could just ignore it. How do I get to said ice island? Oh, here we go. I can zoom in a little more. Come on, zoom right in. How do I get get there? Help! Come on, get there. Man, no one's trusting crap. I see a lot of stuff on the TVs. And I just don't believe that every single production company is out to get us, that's all. We've seen the curvature of the Earth caught on video. And not even like video where they're pretending to go to space either. They're just getting up real high and in hot air balloons. Don't you trust that man from Pepsi who jumped from the edge? Well... He wasn't even near space, but still. So what was this achievement meant to be? Stop pushing. Not interesting. I don't need to think. I'm just playing video games. Get out of here and go think elsewhere. We're not here to think. We're here to play video games. Uh, where's the ice? Did I already get that? Is that the problem? 
Man, if you're not trolling, you're just you're just wasting your time. Oh yeah, I have to refresh. Where is the ice? Did I get it? Did I get it? Take a screenshot and put it in Google Lens. <laughs> Find the North Pole in photo mode. Yeah, so like, that's exactly what I'm doing, right? That's the North Pole. So I'm going into photo mode. Here. And here I am at the ice pole thingy. Maybe I have to go way away. Oh, there it is. It's just a matter of finding the right damn trigger point in the, the map. Oh! Not interested. You're... You're on the other side of this disc, buddy. I can't just hand you over my can through the... the... <laughs> Oh boy. I tell you what, listening to this guy go on it's somebody who just doesn't even care whether it's flat or not. Give me some, some proper evidence. Instead of just telling me to look it up. Maybe I'll believe. Take me up in the ship and I'll see it myself, then maybe I'll believe. Until then I'll just be like, yeah, it's got nothing to do with me anyway. What do I care? So I need to uh, type Flat Earth with my keyboard. With the space. There we go. Achievement! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Man, I haven't repeated crap about what I've been told to think. I haven't tried to argue that it is or isn't. I'm just saying I can't be bothered. Find area 51 in photo mode. Oh, here we go. I have to try and learn geography for a bit. And then I have to try and learn geography <laughs> for a flatter earth. I think that Nevada would be around here somewhere, right? Someone tell me I'm wrong, because and uh, that poll was at the top of the, the USSA's. You don't know what's more annoying? Uh, actual people who believe in Flat Earth, or the people that need to try and convince other people that Flat Earth exists. That's just like trying trying to convince people to believe in God. I don't give a crap whether God exists or not. I'm just not interested in worshipping him. Alright, back to photo mode. Straight up going down into these ridges. Area. How many? Oh. But it's aliens. It's always aliens, right? All right, now we have to go back into photo mode one more time, but this time we're looking for a stretch of islands near the top of the Earth. Uh, so by the looks of the the picture there is a set of islands up here well 
we'll just wait for the sun to come by and show us. Um, yeah, I think that's the, the islands we're meant to be going to. So a little bit of photo mode. We'll go over to those islands. Ba -ba ding Hi, islands. What are you guys doing? Oh, we all been thinking that we might like to do some fishing. So won't you be kind enough to make us a boat? No. Make your own boat. For good measure, though, I do think the whole movement is ridiculously stupid. And if it ever turns out that we do expose, that we do in fact live on a flat earth, I will quite happily concede. But until then, I'd like to pretend that not everything is a giant fucking conspiracy. Disappointment Island. That's my life. As we sit and we look upon the majesty of the Discworld and imagine what it would be like to go to Unseen University and study with the lazy wizards who wear their bathrobes and their overly pointy hats. <laughs> I'm Australian. I can do what I like. <laughs> Actually, the, the rules say that I, I am allowed to, as long as it's not like every five seconds and not in the first 30 seconds of a, of a stream. Hey, they got to grow up sometime and learn about the flat world, right? <laughs> At least I can tell when you're joking. Thank you for for pointing that out so i i think the only achievements that i have left to get whoa 38 out of 42 are idle achievements where i just have to kind of leave it on for a while let's have a look discover the last hidden clue that's um that's one of those countdown ones the third hidden clue meaning of it all yeah, it's just idling in the game activate bloom in the menu i never did that it didn't come up that's fine and then exit the game so all i have to do now is wait for where's that timer gone i think the timer disappears oh, there's there you go there's the timer we're counting down from 193 to the third Blue. And then there's a um hmm? I got brought up by Telly buddy. Uh just constantly watch things, still do. So uh, Telly's my, my mum. Quite happily believe in in anything it tries to tell me. I'm good. As I said, you're wasting your time and effort. Yeah, so much, and I admit that I am so dumb. So, next clue ends is in 150 seconds. And you can see the little time account down there, yeah? There we go. That's cool. That's to the next one, which is number three. I also have to change the bloom effect, whatever that does. Where's the, oh, here's the bloom. Oh, okay, that's too much. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, me or, or Confefe here? <laughs> me, I was raised by my television, as in, like, so I, I was put down in front of the television more often than I got to hang out with my actual parents, so... Yeah. Why would I distrust it? It's uh, pivotal in my life. I'm going to sit here for the next minute. 
my tell lie vision. Brain manipulation device. Hey, I believe you. I believe you that the television is trying to manipulate my brain. I try to avoid, like, the news and stuff. But hey, all it's trying to do is sell me things. I quite happily buy into it because I'm dumb. And you're not going to smarten me up by sitting in my chat trying to preach the good truth. We've gotten over to the uh with the numbers side you add up all the the letters of the word television and you get 666 and it was the devil the whole time i don't want to big brain it i just want to get a nice hundred percent i feel sick i just wanted to load something up we got our next clue in 16 seconds and i'm going to see how many seconds until the last one and then i can exit the game and get that 100% and get away from this toxic oh my god you don't believe in the truth environment there we go there's the third clue and it says don't define yourself by a story but your actions and interactions with others <laughs> look at it Eight hundred and seventy-five seconds. How many minutes is that? That's at least ten more minutes. You mean I've been streaming for nearly an hour? Man, I was gonna get some work done while I let this idle. I may as well just sit here for ten minutes and get yelled at by this flat earth believer and just drink, waste their time. Probably just troll and don't even believe it themselves. Just read up a Wikipedia article about it just so that they could like get me to get angry on stream or something right i'm okay with being programmed to think let's speed up that rotation speed now the sun size up a little Distance down. Take that, flat earth. <laughs> I've been through a burning ring of fire. <laughs> uh, my particle effect's going to wreck my stream. No, seems to be holding fine. Yeah. It's all good. That's all good. What? Just me sitting back watching things go round and round? Round and round. Oh my god. The earth is round and flat. <laughs> Cause it's a disc. Turn off the menu and just enjoy it, huh? Ah, uh, let's get rid of those waypoints. No, I can't get rid of the waypoints, can I? Because that gets rid of the timer, and I want to know what the timer says. Oh. Hey, man, that sun is spinning. Hey, we can, uh, we can do this. Make patterns and stuff. Like a, a, a spirograph. You ever play with a spirograph? Make little flowers? <laughs> hey, I know you're trying to sound sarcastic, Kenzie, but we all know that you're right here as soon as you notice I'm online. What boring content does he have next? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we make the, the sun and the moon 
like catch each other. Try to outline the entire earth. Okay. I think we'll get it out a little bit. Let's go. And uh, I'm giving it a corona. And I mean the uh the bright light that shines out from behind, not is that what it's called? No, that's the name of a beer. I must be getting confused. Meanwhile, the moon. Let's make the moon huge. There we go. We've got double lines now. Woo! Now I can still do the patterns. And... Bam! Okay, let's see if I can do a smiley face, huh? Uh, moon distance a little bit closer now, and... Oh, no, wait. Not... Oh, wait. Moon distance is how I smash into things. Uh, orbit. There is good. Okay, uh, maybe in a little bit. Uh, hold on. I'm reading things. Isn't the first layer of the sun? Oh, I thought it was the uh, the glow that came from behind things. You're probably right. Um, and then... Or the second layer. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not sure. Moon distance, and we're just going to ignore the others. Let's see if I can make a smiley face, because that's what I really want to do. And bam. Nope. Not quick enough. Bam, bam. Smiley. <laughs> uh... Bam, bam, bam. Not quite what I wanted. Bam, bam. Bam. Bam, bam. Bam. Robert, not Robert. Oops, I can't do it straight enough. I can I can do little dots everywhere. How's that? Did you ever think that maybe me sitting here and making fun of it all? I might be hired as part of the problem. I mean, where's Australia on this map anyway? Because that's where I am from. Why Why are we still streaming? I'm not an actor. I've hugged kangaroos before. They're totally not robots. Ah, you came to the wrong stream, buddy. You're talking to a purebred Australian. Uh, we're still streaming because uh, this timer. This timer has to get down to, to zero. You see it? 400 and something. I'm not Googling that. I will. I The FBI will become knocking on my door if I start Googling that stuff. I will be arrested. They'll be like, hey, you, Australian kid. Exactly. So if I live in Australia and can show you pictures of me cuddling kangaroos, which I can. That's my disability pay. That's that's what I get paid for. <laughs> that's my job. Then uh, there's no use trying to convince me the world is flat because I already know and I'm lying to everybody because I don't really exist. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Another one of the things that's meant to try and confuse you. And I've wasted your time trying to convince me. How's that? Actually, if I just turn the rotation speed down, <laughs> it'll be a lot easier to try and make <laughs> a smiley face. Why didn't I think of that before? All right, so there's one eye. Oh, because it disappears too quickly. That's why. Ah. <laughs> All right.
right, let's turn it up a little bit. Maybe half speed I might be able to get it done. I, I, smiley. Ah, oh, not quite. A little over half speed. I, I, smiley. There we go. Oh, I overdid it. I got excited because I thought I did it. People in Australia don't know that they have no government that is legal in any state. You mean Scott Morrison doesn't have any power? Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Listed as a foreign corporation in the USA, in fact. <laughs> you leave ScoMo out of this. What about Dan Andrews? He says I should put the onions on top of my sausage. Is that wrong? And why do I like Vegemite on toast so much? Tell me these things! Yeah, now the troll's being trolled by the Australian. He's trying to convince me that I'm not from Australia when I've lived in Australia all my life. I mean, ScoMo is absolutely not in charge of anything. No, no, you're absolutely right there. But we did vote for him, and he did become in power. But my God, he went off to Hawaii while we were on fire, for Christ's sake. What a jerk. Smiley face. I did it. <laughs> for half a second, I did it. We only have, like... Under 300 more seconds of this crap. Um, I'm from Victoria. I'm down down the bottom. Uh, not quite over the the water to Tasmania, which I have been to. Uh, Tasmania. Believe it or not, Tasmania is an interesting place. Whoops! I missed it. Yeah. There and then a smiley. Who the hell's Rothschild? I don't know. What are you talking about? Do I have to Google that? Did I say that? I might have. Oh, did somebody... Oh, Rothschilds control the planet. What the hell are you on about? The Murdoch media controls half the planet. <laughs> Alright. I'm going back to this thing again. Because I like it. Oh. Faster, please. Wow. So many pixels. We got a hundred and Sixty more seconds of this before I decide to click the exit button and get a nice hundred percent on my profile, and then go wake up. Thought, why do I have five viewers on this crap? Seriously, what are you all doing with your lives? You don't want to be here. I'm just sitting. Oh God, the, somebody created an account quickly called the Big Picture. Learn how to survey the land, or spend some time with someone who can. There is a reason surveyors laugh at flat earth. Oh, that's better. Somebody else has come to give the opposing side instead of all these guys. Hey, my moon and my sun are the... Oh, no, it hasn't. It's just spinning in place. You want to create a meme? That's fine. I mean, you don't have to try and tell me. This, this whole... I didn't even notice until recently, until the until we started talking about it. This stupid, stupid disc. It doesn't even have my gosh dang country on it. 
Where am I? Oh wait, no, there it is. It's over there. I can't read. Okay, so take this flat earther man, James Confefre. You're telling me that my, my country doesn't exist, but even the flat earthers are acknowledging my existence. I'm down here. I just didn't recognize it because of the way that they've stretched it out. Like on the UN flag or whatever. I quite like egg. I like egg on my face. I'm fine with that. The new game of Spore is intense. <laughs> Yeah, we're trying to bake up a nice, I don't know what this is. It's a cookie, right? We call them biscuits in Australia. In our little non-existent country that's right here. See that little yellow dot here? That's me. That little yellow dot. We can, we can photo mode in and zoom in on that little yellow dot. Right. Rush through space. Oh, my um Did I look up and see if you were wrong about Australia? I mean, hold on a second while I look out the window. No, it's still there. And that's it. That's how our story ends. Thanks for playing. That's it. We don't we don't have to, to look anymore. But um but this little this little yellow dot that's uh that's me actually that's not quite me that's about an hour down the road from me i'm at this little triangle my yellow dot is a triangle that's kangaroo island i think that's tasmania or is it christmas i don't even know my own things I forgot my schizophrenia pill again. Oh. Right. I should probably go take my schizophrenia pills. So I only have one more achievement left to get in this ridiculous thing we call a game that for some reason y'all are watching me just sit here watching it spin. Should I just leave it on until you all bugger off out of boredom i mean i could go do something else and leave it running you could put it on as a screensaver or something go wake up my wife watch some horror movies for the rest of the day and get my my brain reprogrammed by the television aeroplanes should we play a song? Can we play a song on the way out? From My Am Band? Sure. Why not? Just give me a second to turn off my uh, thing that tells me how to win the game. Phew. Let me just uh, make it so you don't see what kind of lewd things I look at on my browser that is going to be playing. Na 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 na. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Now I've got to actually try and find my own band, right? That's the hard bit. I've got to look it up on YouTube. I should really register them as a proper band and like start getting it put on Spotify and stuff. See if I can get this playing right. Uh, I guess I can sit here for this thing. I've got nothing better to do.
you mean gone sexual? I got kicked off YouTube for that. To it. we can take the uh the waypoints off now put the crowds back on crowds are nice what's this little satellite doing aside from giving us gps <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, doppelganger, you arrived just in time for me to be like, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I 100 percent of the game, that's all I wanted to do, and then there were too many people in the chat, and then I got told to put on music from my old band, and I did, and now they all left, which is good, really, because then I can just end the stream, right? Pizza time. Maybe I should use this as a video clip. James, we all know that you're a troll now because this is my old band from when I was a teenager 15 years ago. Now I know that everything that you've been saying has just been pulled off Wikipedia and you're just being a jerk. At least we know now, and knowing is half the battle. Found it. 
I found that satellite. Hold on, my just eh, back up. Hey, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Satellite. Where's the satellite? Oh, there it is down there. Wait, now to where did it go? It keeps moving. There it is. It's the satellite of love. How about I do this instead? Go into the screen. Whoop. And we turn on. Of course, that is. It's part of the game. Turn on this display, turn off this display. Brings it in closer a little bit. And then I can. Uh, there we go. That's nice. Um, what I need to do now is just jump into. Yeah, you can see, I don't care. Uh, where is? There he is. Pause. Go away. Beans. 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 How's that? Beans. 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 